Simeon. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Well, lucky man. And you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You I are gonna milk the cows? Sure. Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. No. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. We used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Almost got a pail full. Hey, Pa. 
Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. Come on. We all gotta earn our How about keep. you and the boy, uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Hold on a moment. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's prehension now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Oh, it splashes. Coming. Look at this horse shit. Think your mother's hiding somewhere, laughing at us? I reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, what do you know? Me too. Put some coffee on.
I said Abe. Yes, sir. Where are the other hand? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal. Sir. And no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, hey. I do. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. You done? Come on. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh. Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh. Calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. Come on! Where's that big mean horse? Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? You got that horse licked, Mr. Milton. Ah, I don't know about that. All right, he's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice.
Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there ain't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. Milton? So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Bill, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? kind of withdrawn quiet you know sure take him out please come on boy let's go for a walk come on Around to the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Pa, are you coming too? Let's go. 
How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't Look pull out. on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Faster, come on. Faster? Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. Hold. Why don't we speed it up again? Okay. Come on. Go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. You get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Get cocky, boy. Pride comes before a fall. A big fall. I got the hang of this, sir. You know how old my horse is. It feels like I'm flying. I'm right behind you. I beat you! I beat you! I Well beat... ridden, son. <laughs> I beat you. 
Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Excuse me. Morning, friend. You be well, partner. Hmm. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Don't dawdle. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. That's it. You're doing all right. Okay. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Get over here. Come
Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus no is your boss's that. son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Oh, shit! I'll get him! Like you're gonna wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. There, 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 there. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Easy, easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. All better. Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of Chuck. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. your mouth boy you will be the first one we kill yeah. leave him alone <laughs> oh careful boys careful yeah. look at this tough guy get out of here how oh, fancy parents get he's paying you to be tough for him huh <laughs> <laughs> no he's paying me to keep the place clean oh. said he had some problems with vermin oh listen to this Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, 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 get him! Oh, oh, get him! Oh, oh, kick his head in, oh, Bob! Get that feller! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop. 
acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. getting on surviving I think here I'll get you some coffee the only thing I know how to do is well you know undertakers like me cattle not so much that ain't true I ain't no rancher rustled horses not raised them stole cattle not birthed them I was I was reading the newspaper I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. I'm doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mind. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I ain't just about doing things you like, boy. Yes, sir. You make that clear enough. What's that supposed to be? Only that you aren't so happy here with us. But son, I'm happy. It's just... I, I find it hard, is all. You'll understand someday. Here. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. I, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh... W what do I do? Well, just hold him and pull him short to slow down. Tell him to go faster, give him a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Whoa! Yeah!
that's enough. For now. Back in strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Son. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to name. M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. Nope, nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay, John Marston. Marston... Nope, nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh... Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Pa! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But... I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. I'm your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Get away from there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Slow it down. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa! Slow down a little. Yeah! Actually, you, you know what? Faster. Yes, sir. Yeah!
What's wrong, Pop? Nothing. Don't look around. Oh, Pop, hey. those men, are they following us? Just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, down! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move. Or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friend to chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, Mr. Kill him. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Oh, dear. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. You did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. Hmm. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Okay, here we are. That was in uh, a very...
said, off the trip. Go say hi to your mother. How was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. 